Welcome to the Business Networking Influencers Podcast, where connections become opportunities and relationships shape success. Prepare to be inspired, informed, and empowered by the brightest minds in business networking. And now, your host, Tim Nifton. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Business Networking Influencers, sponsored by RSVP Las Vegas. I'm Tim Nifton, your host, and thrilled to have you here with us today as we continue our journey through the vibrant world of Las Vegas business connectors. Before we dive into today's conversation, I want to extend a warm welcome to our featured guests. Joining us today is Art Signs with 412 Creative. We're honored to have him on the show today so he can share his experiences, insights, and wisdom he's gained over his remarkable journey to success, which he's going to be sharing with us today about success. So this is perfect. So without much uh, further ado, let's get right into it. Art, welcome to Business Networking Influencers. We're delighted to have you here today. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good, Tim. How's it going? How's it going? It's good to see you. Yeah, it's great to connect again and see you again. So uh, fantastic. We'll jump right in and hear a little bit about your journey and incredible work you're doing here in Las Vegas. So I always like to to start the podcast with a little bit more information about who you are, what you do, and uh, why uh, why people should be interested in 412 Creative. Awesome. Uh, so uh, 412 Creative is a strategic development and content creation company. It's basically all of the resources of a marketing agency without the competition is what I like to say. Um, And I have been doing this for about 15 to 20 years. I started in the entertainment industry. I've done everything from carry the wires and plug in the cameras to standing in front of the camera and making the music in the studio. Uh, I have a, a entertainment background. I got an album with a Grammy award winner by the name of Skip Martin. Wow, uh, we made music back in like oh nine ish, and we still currently make music today. Um, I just not my main focus, taking care of my clients and offering quality services, uh, helping the communities that I work in is is really the 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 big things for me right now. Wow, that's great. That's great. So uh, before we started the podcast, you were mentioning you have a, a new venture called Success. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so Successes is a business community uh, built out of, I believe we're at like 235 businesses, I think right now. We have uh, seven branded events. Um, We do everything from financial awareness events to we just recently did a Women's um, History Month called Her Story event where we honored a bunch of women within the community and let them tell their stories to each other. It was really good. Uh, About 60, 70 people came out in attendance. Um, We do everything from ribbon cutting ceremonies for brand new brick and mortar businesses to virtual events as well. Uh, What we we tend to offer is financial, credit specialists, tax specialists, marketing, both traditional and digital, social media management, web developers, uh, just specialists in all of those fields. And we offer them to our business community, real tangible resources. Uh, We work with nonprofits. And um, so we're able to make partnerships for tax write-offs all the way down to sponsoring events and helping the community. We have government programs, politicians in our community as well. So they're always bringing us things. Um, the, the, the city of Las Vegas or the Valley, I should say, is, is very vast in um, the different communities. So I found a lot of community builders and mm-hmm. I kind of just like um, gave them the options for these resources. And then they brought them to their communities. And now we have uh, leaders within the health and wellness community, the medical, real estate Um, We have, it's, I believe we're in like at least a good 22 different industries, about 30 different verticals. Um, Yeah. So we have, we have something for everybody in in this and we're into creating power teams uh, where we can get two business owners that um, can really benefit with working with each other because they have the market that they're in and we get them to, you know, create a synergy there. So um, yeah, that's kind of us in a nutshell. Success. That's great. That's great. What what inspired you to start 412 Creative 412 Creative and Successes? 
So 412 Creative is based off of my birthday. Uh, I was <laughs> born on 412. It made it real oh, simple. It's coming up. With the creation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right around the corner. Um, so, so doing that allowed me to um, just uh, work for myself and develop products. I've worked for multinational marketing agencies. I've worked for small boutique businesses. So this is me branching out onto my own. We identify for these larger corporations that um, uh, I can get somebody to pay us maybe $2,500 a month, mm -hmm. but getting that $15,000 a month retainer was just a little out of my reach in experience and in some of the business owners that I work with out here. And um, when we identified that, the agency that I work with, um, we created a new partnership where I can still bring, uh, I can bring clients to them. I can help, I can help businesses grow to there though, by starting my own boutique agency and, and, and getting them off the ground, whether they're, um, just starting trying to get to a brick and mortar or they just open their brick and mortar and trying to reach a new audience uh doing the content creation allows me to offer the deliverables that all of these businesses need for their marketing because sometimes they might not they might not need the um the the agency's um resources to, to broadcast the message, but they do need the content creation for that. So I help them strategize what's the best options for them. And then we can go from there. Um, so yeah, with successes, it kind of allows me to have now instead of a pipeline of, or single businesses I'm looking for, I have a pipeline of businesses and we're able to, you know, utilize each other to, you know, 10 X our business. <laughs> nice. Nice. You were uh, mentioning how unique and vibrant Las Vegas Valley is. Um, how has being based in the entertainment capital of the world uh, influenced your business strategies and decisions here? Well, um, I can start in the morning and take on a political uh, campaign and work work for um, you know we just did a CCSN um, voter uh, meet and greet basically and you know I was there for four hours and I left there went to the gym and filmed some professional fighters sparring footage uh, the private footage that nobody will ever see um, go from there come home start designing a, a video or a flyer for a nonprofit a logo for a real estate agent uh, all of these different industries they all have certain things in common with um the way the market is in las vegas the way things are supposed to look smell hell even taste um it's it's one of those things uh, a je ne sais quoi if you will and 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 for that like our own flavor being part of that like watching the city grow being here since i was 16 years old um, becoming an adult out here, becoming an artist out here, a business owner out here. I've gotten to meet so many different people that I can, I, I, understanding the pulse, I guess, of the different communities out here. And even recognizing that there is multiple communities. I mean, most people don't even know their neighbors, right? Um, <laughs> how many people live in these ticky tacky houses, you know, on, on the block and they don't know nobody up the street. Whereas like somewhere like Oakland, um, somewhere in Montana, it, the people has been living there for a hundred years, you know, like 50, yeah. 80 years, easy, four generations, three generations. And it's like, we don't have that here in abundance. So it's like you kind of have to identify who are the communities, what communities exist, and then find the people within those communities that have synergy for your personal business because uh, yeah, they're out here. Yeah, you, you keep mentioning there's a lot of diverse uh, communities in Las Vegas. Can, can you share some insights and how you're connecting with them? Yeah, um, so I am the media director for Robert Taylor Twix. He's running for city councilman, Ward 2 of North Las Vegas. Um, between that community alone in North Las Vegas itself, it's its own ecosystem that's separate from Las Vegas, just like Henderson is and Summerlin. And, and for these ecosystems, you can almost at this point live in these neighborhoods and never have to leave. So depending on what your ecosystem is, it, it'll have those type of resources for you. So if you're, if you're going to school, for instance, there's the CCSN campuses to UNLV. Now around there, all of the, the businesses and everything are contributing to the life of the people that are in, in that area. So between the different areas of the city and then 
not just like the po the politics of how they're managed, but also the the communities that are living in them. Um, mm -hmm. Some are older than others, so there's a, there's a little bit more um, um, community infrastructure there, where like you know the parks, um, the political figures are from those neighborhoods. Um, the the schools uh, do uh, community programs where they have you know after school programs. The nonprofits are more engaged in those communities and stuff. And their communities like uh, North Las Vegas uh, to the east side of Las Vegas, like off of a uh, uh, Desert Inn and Eastern, all the way up to like Nellis and and those those areas. Like a lot of those, they're really tough neighborhoods, but. The people that live within the community have now built out, my generation has now built out um, successful businesses, brick and mortars, um, organizations, and we we give back to those communities. And there's a lot of people, I, I like to call them community builders, because there's a lot of people out here that are really trying to do that because they're from these neighborhoods. Yeah, and and we, we didn't just move his seller house in California for you know a one point five million and then buy a half a million dollar house and now we're sitting on bucks just living lavish. No, we went to the high school here. We we figured it out whether it was uh, you know nightlife industries or it was it was uh, you know working automotive services or something like that. And now we've built ourselves to having our own businesses where we're getting our own brick and mortars. Um, we're ten to fifteen years into a career of certain corporations. And with that knowledge, we're not keeping it to ourselves. We're giving it back where, uh, through these community programs, through these community businesses. Um, that's that's one, one of those things that separates successes is we're not just one community, we're multiple communities because my community is built off of community builders. So I find leaders within other communities, whether you have 15 people, 25 people, you're into this type of music, you're into this type of thing. <laughs> I, I We just acquired recently, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, so really big right now is the women's football, uh, flag football. And the oh, NFL wow. is getting behind it. So all of these high school girls are training at a very high level. And, and so now there's a whole infrastructure of industry that's being built off of that. Coaches, DJs, vendors, um, brands and lifestyle stuff that are all going to now uh, videographers and production. Mm -hmm. Now that there's a whole ecosystem for this and there's proper funding for this because they want to see these young ladies do really well. So it's like now that spawns a whole new industry. So if you're in one of those things, like you do vend, mm -hmm. like you do do production or whatever, now you can look into a new vertical that that has been untapped. So wow. like, and and these communities are are built for that. Like you know, they're 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 hiring within. Um, one of the girls that was on the team, her, uh, the coach hires the father to DJ the events. Another yeah. girl on the team, her, the father has has a um, food cart. Now, now he's vending at the event, you know, just stuff like that. And and just understanding these infrastructures, like even the voting situations out here in our community, we're so disenfranchised from the political parties and everything that we don't think our vote counts, where the, most people are focused on national elections. If you don't even pay attention to who your state assembly is, who's running the district in your school or who's, who's the head of the school district, um, Who's, who's your city councilman for your district? Like all of these things, if you're not paying attention to these things, you're not ever going to really make any real change. Right. But once you start understanding those people and then those people who they're attached to, then along the lines, you're both starting to make change. But it, yeah. until you care about your, 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 your little island that you live on, um, it's really not going to, you're not going to really see all of these things. You're just going to be inside your house. You're going to go to your work, casino job or wherever you are. And you're just going to come home. Your kids are going to go to school. You're going to complain about these things, but not really take no actionable causes because the efforts of being part of a community does take more because most mm -hmm. people aren't from here. So they don't even know where to start. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let alone, uh, finding a community for, you know, women's flag football, you know, I'm sure most of the Valley hasn't heard about it yet, but uh, yeah, it yeah. exists and it's flourishing. That's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm sure networking has been a crucial part of your business growth. Can you share some tips on building meaningful connections within the Las Vegas business Join community? BNI. <laughs> I love it. 
Yeah. <laughs> not a paid sponsorship, not a paid ad, but I do <laughs> highly recommend it. And be engaging in it. Don't be yeah. scared. Don't just go there thinking, oh, okay, I paid my fee. Now everybody's going to give me business. No, you have to do your one-to-ones. You have to take the effort to build within people in different chapters as well as your own chapter. Understand the theory of power teams if you're truly trying to make a profit. All of those things in BNI and I and, 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 and do your CEUs. Yeah. Cool. You know, because yeah. you'll learn, you get game from that and you're able to <laughs> apply them into your daily business and your daily life. And once you start doing that, you'll see results. Uh, oh, that's absolutely. the first thing is B and I. The second yeah. thing is get out of your shell. If you're if you walk into a place and you feel comfortable, the first thing you do is go to the people, you know, you're doing it wrong. Get uncomfortable. Go to the yep. people you don't know <laughs> yourself confidently, knowing what you like, knowing what you need knowing what you offer yeah, and, and you'll get your conversions. That's amazing advice. I love it. Um, being a successful business owner, I know you have a vision for 412 creative and successes. Um, so what are your current goals and aspirations for these uh, endeavors? Uh, continue to grow the successes brand. Of course, um, that is my first and foremost uh outside of the campaigning right now for another three, four months or so it is. Um, but uh, after that, it, it's just really the long-term goals for successes. I see that it's going to become a political action group. I see it's going to yeah. be a nonprofit. It has yep. for-profit businesses already. We're building out a sales team. We have a production events uh, consistently. We have a production team for videography, photography, any, any production services needs. Um, so, yeah, we have all of these resources, plus uh, the business owners uh, that are already incorporated into us, that are part of the board, um, our chairman, it, uh, to, to all the way down to just our, our volunteers. Like every single business owner has a resource that we're using. We just uh, dubbed one of our voiceover people as the voice of successes. Now wow. she's out there being able to market. Her stuff is being marketed for her. And, and we already have lanes for her to capitalize on, like putting her with connections for po politicians because they need the voiceover videos, like little things like that. Like if you, mm -hmm. we can identify a use for you, come on board. I have the same within the community. My plate is already so full. So I don't mind if somebody comes and eats off of this plate. The plate is big enough for all of us. And Absolutely. at this point, if you were to make a connection and I didn't hear from you, ever again and you made millions of dollars off of that connection <laughs> successes wouldn't wouldn't care no different it wouldn't yeah. affect us no more until you pour into the community that's when we'll expect something when you make yeah. a commitment to us but outside of that like we're here for you you know mm -hmm. we have tons of resources and the resources just keep growing as far as a 412 creative the clients are just going to get more important bigger uh, budgets are getting larger uh, <laughs> as we speak. You know, I still I still work at a program for um, small businesses. I still work at a program for nonprofits and micro schools and stuff like that to be able to get top quality content for uh, write off fees and, and, and small pay for labor and stuff of that nature. But um, yeah, targeting larger, larger campaigns, larger clients, um, whether it's in the fight world, whether it's in. Uh, any sport industry or any corporate industry, we have people that can service these things within our, our not just community within my company. So, yeah. Wonderful. So uh, finally, reflecting on your journey, um, what's one piece of advice that you would uh, give to somebody uh, in business here in Las Vegas? Your reputation is worth more than your wealth. Yeah. Your connections, who you are as a person is a stronger attachment than any small monetization. And they will lead to greater monetizations as yep. you build more connections. Definitely. Well, thank you so much, Art, for uh, being on Business Networking Influencers Podcast. Uh, can you share with the listeners how to get connected with you or successes or 412 Creative real quick? 
Yep. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at you love art. That's Y O U L O V E A R T. You can uh, look up the website I A M A R T S A E N Z dot com. That's I am art signs dot com. And from there, all of the successes stuff is, is all easy access. Perfect. Thank you so much for being on Business Networking Influencers. Uh, log in next week to hear our next episode. And uh, that's all for today. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Have a good one, guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you for tuning in to the Business Networking Influencers podcast. We hope you gained valuable insights and strategies to elevate your business and networking game. Don't forget to subscribe for more episodes filled with expert advice and inspiration. Until next time, keep connecting, keep growing, and keep influencing.